Hi there. Now, I've got an example here that you might like to try. It's based around the earlier video tutorial that I showed you how to integrate integrals of this type. We used integration by parts. So, if you'd like to have a go at this, just give you a moment to pause the video, and when you come back, I'll display the full solution in one go. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Let's see how you got on. Well, the final answer then is e to the 2x over 13, and it's all multiplied with 2 sine 3x minus 3 cos 3x plus a constant of integration. So I'll take you through the method I used just in case there were any problems. You can see that we use integration by parts. I've let u equal the exponential function and dv dx equal sine 3x. It's up to you though with a question like this, you can let u equal sine 3x and dv dx equal e to the 2x. It doesn't matter, you should end up with exactly the same answer. And I'd encourage you to try the opposite to what you've just done for further practice. Okay, so working off this then, using integration by parts gives you this line here. We need to tidy this integral up and I've brought out the two thirds as you can see out the front. And I've also cleaned up this first term. Next, we have to use integration by parts again here and always make sure that whatever you called u here, in this case it was the exponential function, that you do exactly the same again here. All right? And then using integration by parts gives us this. Expand the bracket and clean up this integral here. And you'll notice that what we've got again is this integral, which we called i. So what we've got now is minus 4 ninths i. I've also factorized these two terms, okay, by pulling out the lowest common multiple of 3 and 9, which is 9 here, and switching the two terms around, making this the positive term at the front, okay? Also, I've put in a constant of integration, which I've called plus c. Now we need to add 4 ninths i to both sides, so that gives us 1i plus 4 ninths i, 1 and 4 ninths i, but better still, write it as 13 ninths i. And then what I can do is times both sides through by 9, which will cancel these two 9s out, and divide by 13. So I end up with this result here. The constant c though is changed because that would be 9c divided by 13 and I've called it another constant a. Okay, so I hope it's given you some idea anyway on how to do that if it caused any problems. Okay, 